Cellular immunotherapy is a new way of treating cancer. It's really completely different than anything that you can imagine when you think about giving medicine to treat cancer. We take the cells from a cancer patient and we engineer them. That means we put a gene into the cell so that all the daughter cells also have the genetic program and can make the proteins that are being encoded. When they go back into the patient now, I like to say they've been given superpowers because they now can attack the tumor. CAR T cells are the first effective targeted cancer cell therapy. A CAR T cell is the most direct genetic method to hijack our own lymphocytes and force them to see cancer as foreign. If we can make a protein that is able to attack only that one molecule, then we've really changed how we're able to manage cancer. We're able then to bring cells that can expand if you need more, cells that can localize to where the cancer is and keep pounding on it. That's what the CAR T cell is. This immune therapy is a paradigm shift. Cellular immunotherapy is a breakthrough because it's a living therapy. The cells that you are administering can last in these patients for weeks, months, even years. I really believe that we are seeing the proverbial tip of the iceberg. I tell my team that we're at the end of the beginning. This is now laying the groundwork for what these cells can really do. The cycle of science, moving from the laboratory to early preclinical and then early phase one studies, is this critical component of the early clinical trial cycle. Stanford is pioneering the new idea, the new technology. That commitment is a cycle. <laughs>